In this video, we're going to be looking at one of the questions from WAEC 2018 November December mathematics paper, and we're going to be working with the transformation of shapes. We want to see the anti clockwise rotation of a quadrilateral around the 90 degrees, and then we want to look at the transformation y minus x is equal to zero. Welcome to Day Tooth Academy, where we are devoted to building academic excellence in students for their STEM subjects. If you are here to subscribe, click on the subscription icon, click on the notification icon, and if you find this video useful, share with your friends, share with your loved ones. Let's build academic excellence in students together. And so, let's head over to our video for today. We have this question on the rotation of shapes, and we have been given the scale to use on both axes, 2 cm to 2 units on our graph paper, and we are to rotate in anti-clockwise rotation of 90 degrees about the origin. Now, first and foremost, before we launch into this, how do we go about solving this type of question? If we are to use the Cartesian coordinate as a guideline to see how a rotation of 90 degrees anti-clockwise will look like, let's take our Cartesian coordinate with labels y, x, minus x, and minus y. Now, if we rotate it in an anticlockwise rotation of 90 degrees, 90 degrees. Now, this we amount to having something like this. If we rotate this, x will come up, the y will go to our left, minus x will come down, and minus y will go to the right. Now, that is the effect of our rotation. Now, What's to note in this type of rotation is that um, from what we just explained, x becomes y if you look at all the case scenarios, and then y becomes minus x. So if we use this as a rule of thumb, we can actually go about plotting all the um, points that were given in the question and rotating them appropriately. So for the case p, that is defined by 3, 2. We are saying that x will become y. So P1 will become x will become y. So x, which is 3, will become y. So we have P1 will be minus 2, 3. Because x is now y, and y is now minus x. So for our Q minus 1, 5, Q1, under the anticlockwise rotation of 90, we become um, minus 5 comma minus 1 because x becomes y and y becomes minus x. Then r of 0 comma 8 will become r1. We have now we have um, 0 and minus 8, minus 8 comma 0. Then for our hairs, which is given as 3 comma 7, we are going to be having minus 7 comma 3. So, with this, these are the new values that we amount to at clockwise rotation of 90 degrees about the origin. Then, in the second one, we are going to find P2, Q2, R2, S2 in the reflection of the line Y minus X is equal to zero. If we take Y minus X is zero, that means that Y is equal to X if we take X to the right-hand side. So, Interestingly, this is just like swapping both sides. So from our P1 to P2, what we need to do is to swap the coordinate of X and Y. So instead of minus 2, 3, we have 3 minus 2. For Q2, we have minus 1, minus 5. For R1, we have R2 will be 0, comma, minus 8. And S1 to S2 will be 3, comma, minus 7. So these are the values that we need to plug into our graph to draw our quadrilateral and resolve the question that we are asked in this um, particular question. So with this, we can go ahead, then after that, describe the transformation and then what type of quadrilateral if it is cutting, no problem with that. Let's take our graph paper and then with the scale that we have been given, two centimeters to represent two units on both x and y axis, we can plot our x and y axis, we have our x axis, then 
we want to also get our wire as this. So this is our x and our y as this y and x minus you don't need to put all those. So we have the origin and two centimeters to represent two units will give us the calibration as is being shown. So once we are through with the calibration, we can now go ahead and start with all our points showing their vertices and their coordinates as requested. Now in the first case, we want to um, show point P having its coordinate as 3,2. So P with 3,2. And now 3 on the S axis will be between 2 and 4. And here we have 2. If we trace the two to one another, the point of intersection will determine point P. So this is the same um, rule of thumb that we are going to be applying for each of the points that we want to note. But I won't be noticing them from the X and Y as is again. I will just plug in the value. So that's P. Q will now be minus 1 and 5. Okay. So the point of intersection is here. Q. So we have this will be Q, Q which is minus one comma five. Then our R want to take R zero and eight. X is zero, Y is eight. That's very straight and direct. R zero comma eight. Then S three comma seven. S will be three is here. And then seven on the wire is this seven between six and eight. All right. So, so we have S three comma seven. So with this, if we join all the points together, we are going to have our quadrilateral quadrilateral PQRS and this is our quadrilateral as requested. So with that, we've been able to find the quadrilateral defined by PQRS, but then we can also go to P1, Q1, R1, and S1. So I want to use my red ink now. P1 is minus 2, comma 3. So minus 2 on the X axis, 3 on the Y axis. So here, minus 2 and 3. So this is the point of intersection. I can trace. But since I know it, I will just plug it in. Minus 2, comma 3. This is P1 as is defined by minus 2, comma 3. Then Q1 is minus 5, comma minus 1. And there, I have the point of intersection. So, minus 5, minus 1. Q1 minus 1, minus 5, comma minus 1. Then R1 minus 8, comma 0. Minus 8, comma 0. And then finally, S1 minus 7, 3. X is minus 7, Y is 3. This is X1 minus 7, 3. So I can also draw my quadrilateral by, that is defined by P1, Q1, R1, and S1. All right. So with that, I've also defined the quadrilateral P1, Q1, R1, and S1. Then, um, continue with the problem, we are asked to define um, Y minus X is zero, and we have gotten those values as P2, Q2, R2, and S2. So for P2, 
is 3 comma minus 2. So 3 comma minus 2. Q2 is minus 1 comma minus 5. So X is minus 1. Y is minus 5. So this is here as Q2. Minus five. Then R two is zero comma minus eight. R two zero comma minus eight. And then S two is R comma minus seven. S two is three comma minus seven. Three. Three comma minus seven. And I can also join all the points. Right. Wow. And with this, I've been able to um, plot the shape, the quadrilateral that was requested of us to um, draw from our diagram. This, um, the, the S1, P1, R1, Q1 is a rotation um, by 90 degree anti-clockwise. And then the P2 S to R to Q to is when we have M um, Y minus X is equal to zero. So now we are asked that what transformation is happening between PQ and PQ R S to P to Q to R S S two between the one shown in blue and the one shown in purple. Now if you look at this critically, and if you consider the X as this, now it's looking as if there's a mirror image of the quadrilateral PQRS that is being imaged at P2, Q2, R2, S2. So it's looking as if X, the X as is, is looking like a mirror. So that means that this transformation that we are being requested to define the transformation is a reflection around the S axis. It's a reflection about the S axis. So, let's see we are reflecting the image of P, Q, R, and S by the S axis to get P2, Q2, R, R2, and S2. Now, that's one definition. Or, this is also looking like a 180 degree, either clockwise or anti-clockwise rotation of P, Q, R, S. So, Either of the two is actually giving us um, P2, Q2, R2, and S2. So, and finally now our last question. We are told that there is a point. Let's, let's check the question. They said that um, P1, Q1 of the quadrilateral, P1, Q1, R1, S1, cuts the S as is at point W. So what type of quadrilateral is P1, S1, R1, and W. So now this is W cutting P1 and Q1 on the S axis. So the shape being drawn in green is the quadrilateral that we are asked to define that what type of quadrilateral is it. So if I'm to draw that out, if I'm to draw this out, this that's the green shape. That's that green shape. And the appropriate label is something like um, is S1 here, P1 here, now W here, and then R1. Now, what shape is this? This is nothing but a trapezium. This is a trapezium. And with that, our question on the rotation of shape has also been answered. That's all we're going to be having for today is Dave Tooth Academy. And if you have found this video useful, go ahead and subscribe to the channel click on the notification icon like the videos share with your loved ones share with your friends share with your younger ones share with your relatives and together let's build academic excellence in students until next time god bless you